Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting green to episode 5 of Forbidden Deduction. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, Bernie. Oh, okay, because I was gonna say, who's that? I'm guessing really famous. <laughs> oh. Isn't that? It is. Oh. Oh. So he's not related to Ron. But he... He looks like him, though. Uh-huh. Well, hold up! First of the hand collector, or the case of the hand collector? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn! <laughs> She's like, uh uh. With the pen? Girl. Girl. Okay, show me how to do that. But do, how many tweezers do you have just in case? Like, Jesus. You bought a life, life supply? <laughs> you know who he does sound like? And if it is him... Mm -hmm, it makes sense. Um, Jun Fukuyama.
Nice. Yeah. I mean, because, you know, you are a little bitchy, but that's okay. We still like you. Holy shit. Why take somebody's hands, though? There's several other bodies that have, you know, hands taken. <laughs> Run. Definitely. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god Thank God it wasn't pairing the plot of us. Okay. Everyone has their hands cut off. But still... Why take hands? Uh, unless now he's like he or she is making like a sculpture or something with art with hands. Because, yeah, you secretly get off on that. But I, I don't know. I have no clue. He could be like freaking, um, oh my God, what the fuck is his name from JoJo? I don't remember his name. Um, the guy who, who basically is like, uh, David Bowie. Him. Okay, so we know it's a he. But he still escaped both of you. Oh. So it's more almost to like clear your name or your conscience over what you did. Okay.
What? How though? Would you stab your hand yourself? Okay, it's easy to stab yourself, but how and understand cutting one of your wrists to take your hand off? How are you gonna do the other one? Explain. I thought it was a bat. <laughs> okay, oh, it's a bird. Hmm? Oh my god. <laughs> Did you mean to do that? Oh no. Got you. Okay. You can even see right there that the button's missing. Yeah, look at your sleeve. Right? Figures. Jeez. 
Jesus Christ. Because, okay, you can clearly see the one on the bottom is a woman's hands. And then it looks like the ones, like, at the top and the middle are clearly man. You'll see. And do you think it's his, you know, co-worker maybe? His partner? But like I said, I mean, it's easy to kill yourself. But how do you take off your other hand? Okay. So his partner was the one who cut his wrist off. I mean, his hands off. It was him. Damn. You're the only one that makes the most sense. Because you saw it the night before. Mm. Right? Now, you would really do anything for him, but he knows he did this.
Oh well. You can say that, yeah. <laughs> because if you get something right, you're close to killing the person. Do you like, do we really want someone else to die? I do feel bad that in the end, it was equal to his partner. Like, oh. This one wasn't as, like, almost obvious as, like, previous episode was. Especially with the fact is, yeah, because, you know, <laughs> the husband killed the wife. So, yeah, that was a little very much obvious with that. This one, I was, because I was thinking, like, okay, we got everybody here. But maybe, like, secretly someone's going to pop up. And like, but, um, this is the person. But the fact is that a police officer was the one who killed the murderer. And did everything else is messed up and, and it does remind me of like any other situation that happens in real life where a police officer does do something wrong which maybe he po he or she um initially thought that they were right in and in the end they do get um convicted for that and sometimes they can recover from that and sometimes they can't we've all seen situations like that especially even in 2023 with everything that is truly going on in the world and such you just never know when they you can be on your high and the next one you can be on your lowest of lows and such that's why i never really wanted to really be a police officer like i felt like that that and a firefighter it's a lot of freaking responsibility like oh my god bruh i could not do it no no but this was a really, like, different type of episode. I did like the dynamic with, you know, of course, Archie and Eagle Eye. I thought that was really interesting. Hopefully we get an episode to go really more in depth on their situation. But it is okay if they don't. I get it because of the fact is almost every single episode clearly is, like, a one-off. Except if it's, like, a two- or three-parter as episode. Which we have not gotten into three-parters. We've only really done two-parters and such and so when we move on to the next episode we may get characters from previous episodes to show up again duh like the dude from last week's episodes but yeah yeah, yeah. i really would like to see something because of course when these two are together the girls be bickering like the girls be going off on each other like homegirl wanted to slice and dice him what it ain't then which i still want to know how the heck you do that that's some mystery-ish right there. Like, that's some serious detective work. Because, girl, damn. How you do that? I mean, you know, I, I you learn some good things from anime. But I ain't going to take that as an initiative. Don't do that. I don't. <laughs> please don't. Everything that you watch, don't take it very seriously. Please do not take it as a learning lesson. Some things are, and then some things definitely are not. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode five of Forbidden Deductions. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode six. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.